Hey everyone, this is Derek J. It's July 11th, 2014. It's about uh, 2 p.m. and I have just received a letter. Uh, it's a certified letter, so I had to go to the post office to go pick it up. And you can see it's from the Keene Police. So, can't be good. Uh, I assume that's in relation to the um, concealed carry license that I recently asked permission from the local police department here in Keene, New Hampshire uh, to receive because New Hampshire is a shall issue state and so I just fill out the form, you pay the money and you should be able to get permission to conceal a firearm. Uh, that's what I was asking for. Uh, I had been denied in the past for not having a proper residency here in New Hampshire, but now I have a driver's license, so all of that should be taken care of. Um, now, normally the way it works is you phone them up and say, hey, how'd that go? Did I get approved or not? They say, yeah, you've been approved. And then uh, you come on down and pick up your new license. But that didn't happen. Instead, I got a certified letter from the Keene Police, and that indicates to me that I've been denied. I'm a little nervous opening this up because uh, I know it's about to be a pain. But let's do it anyway. I'll also notice the price tag on this six dollars and forty eight cents to uh, have a certified letter. You know, that was because there was a big process about showing my ID and giving a signature, stating my address at the post office. So here we are, we're reading this together for the first time. Here's what the, the paper looks like. Now let's read it. <clears throat> to Derek Horton, my address regarding pistol, uh, pistol permit application here. Dear Mr. Horton, the City of Keene Police Department hereby denies your application for a license to carry a loaded pistol or revolver. On July 2nd, 2014, your pistol permit application was received. Your application was reviewed pursuant to RSA 159 and determined that you have had several contacts with the police for assaultive or threatening behavior within the last three years. Specifically, an arrest on September 9th 2011 for obstructing government administration and resisting arrest. An arrest on September 14th, 2011 for possession of controlled narcotics drugs and common law criminal contempt. An arrest on February 27th, 2012 for criminal trespass resisting arrest and common law criminal contempt, and an arrest on March 30th, 2012 for resisting arrest, disobeying an officer, and common law criminal contempt. For this reason, the Keene Police deny your pistol permit application pursuant to RSA 159-6. The denial of your application for a license to carry a loaded pistol or revolver is without prejudice, meaning that you may resubmit an application for consideration under RSA 159-C under RSA 159-6C. You have the right to appeal this decision by petitioning the Keene District Court within 30 days of today's date. That's dated July 9th. If you have any questions regarding the information contained in this letter, please contact me at 357-9815. Sincerely, Kenneth J. Miola, Police Chief. So that's it. What do you think? What do I do from here? I'm no attorney. Uh, I guess I'll start by looking up the RSA 159-6C and uh, reading about all of this. I certainly am of the opinion that all of my crimes, which were victimless and nonviolent, uh, are no restriction on my Second Amendment right to carry a firearm for self-defense. 
What do you think? If you want to see these crimes, they're all publicly available at victimlesscrimespree.com. Do you think that any of these arrests are justification to restrict my right to self-defense 